Tony Khan, we're talking about the TV deal and uh, Tony Khan. So let me paint a picture for the for the good PWT universe, right? And Dose, I know you've been following this, but Tony Khan, he's doing all these interviews, especially as of late, and he's going on these like smaller, for sure smaller, you know, platforms and and talking to all of these outlets and you know telling everyone sweet nothings. And he's wearing, we, we get to the point where he's on a podcast wearing a WBD hat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there looking like a kid in line at a fucking Universal Tours ride, theme ride, you know what I mean? And he's, um, oh, the, the TV deals are coming to get, like, here, here's what he has to say uh, about it right here. We have it here. Tony Khan says conversations with WBD have been awesome but complex. So this is like everyone saying they have a TV deal. It's going down. It's right now, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, they have uh, Warner's got all this extra money. Meanwhile, Warner's doing all these layoffs and they're putting up 1.8 billion to try and keep NBA or whatever, right? Like, I'm sure you'll break it down better than than myself. But Tony Khan, I just found this baffling. So at WrestlePurus tweet this out that Tony Khan says, the conversations are awesome right now. There is a lot to figure out with the AEW TV shows, our pay-per-view content, our streaming library, and all of these things. It's a lot of very complex conversations, but they've been great. Yes. Well, you know he's sad when he doesn't say exciting. So, so yeah, like before it's all like, oh, I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm wearing a WBD hat. I'm Mickey Mouse or I'm fucking Bugs Bunny, you know, <laughs> like the dude has basically become a, a Looney Tune character. Yeah. It comes out WBD's like got all this extra money. There's a lot of, you know, crazy people online going, oh, that money's all going to AEW now, whatever. They're trying to keep NBA, da, 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 da. I'm talking in circles here, but what the do you make of all of this you're saying you're about to throw your arms up and quit the info you don't know people are saying oh i'm hearing a hundred million now with the nba that the nba thing didn't go through da 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 they just put all of their pay-per-views on triller okay so just what's going on um and do you think they end up pulling out of here with this huge deal he's sitting here saying today like it's con it's complex and the conversations are awesome, but there's a lot to figure out still. And isn't it crunch time? We have Dave Meltzer even saying now AEW has to go look somewhere else and start talking to other people. Like now's the time if they're going to do it. Dose, it, man, your thoughts on all of that. I think I'm the only person who's been consistent about this the entire time. And that's been for probably, you know, 18 months to two years. It has been crunch time. It is beyond crunch time. What, 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 whatever it is, like after crunch comes crumbles and digestion. We're, we're, we're like in digestion. We're like, we're like, we've, we've left the, the large intestine and we're making our way to the small intestine, whichever one is the, the, the second one. Can't believe I can't remember my 10th grade biology. Um, but any, you know, anyway, the, the stuff on the NBA probably deserves its own segment, but. Everyone was saying a deal was imminent. I was saying a deal is not imminent. And then you know I got you know I follow and he follows me BJ Bethel and I like I, I like his I like his work and all that. And he said imminent. And then a few days later, people quoted him and he quoted that as support for his story. And I'm like, dude, they just quoted you and you're using them to corroborate your prior story. And he's like, what's wrong with that? I'm like, well, who's your source? And then he finally said. Well, since my first day in TV, I've known these two people, and they both told me that the deal was imminent. All right, that's you don't want to name them. That's fine. I mean, yeah. I, I will still tell you that the only person who's ever named their source publicly is me. <laughs> so I mean, that's the thing too. Sorry, not to interrupt you, but it's just that's where I'm at now. Where people go source, I go, who the fuck is it? Because even if you say like, oh, it's an exec of this, then we could at least whittle or narrow it down. Not that it's got to be like hmm, investigative journalism, but it's just like. At least stand on the shit or just say you're speculating, bro, because anyone could just be like, oh, my source is within this, say this and this. So and, and I, I do like that you that. came out and said the shit. And even if you're wrong, um, yeah. but sorry, go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. And, and then they give me grief. And it's like, go, well, you're you're you just Googled the, the name. I'm like, no, I, I mean, if you Google Warner Brothers <laughs> Discovery executives, you'd have to go pretty far down the list to get to to to. That person and 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 by the way, like lots of people emailed her and tagged her on X and sent her LinkedIn things. Yeah, you know, not one of them got a response back saying, I don't know that guy. Uh, because if anyone got that, you know it would have been all over Twitter. So th there's that. 
Um, but they were like, she's not even in that division. I'm like, it's an executive suite. You know, I'm not I'm not in the government contracts division of my firm either, but I know that the the one of the lead partners just left and someone else just picked it up and 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 I and I know that there, there there's cascading effect. I you know, right. I I know that the the we're gonna we opened an office in Chicago and in Seattle. I mean, th th these things have nothing to do with me, but I know because people talk and they came up together and they moved divisions. And by the way, live and reality TV events will occasionally, they need to coordinate with other events as well and sports and things. I mean, it's just ridiculous to think that, you know, common sense doesn't exist. They think that like, there, this is like, there's like 10,000 people all sequestered. All right. Anyway, this is my understanding whatever the last offer from Warner Bros. Discovery was, they have taken it off the table. I don't think they mean it. They're just like, we're done talking. We're that, that, that was, that, that's, that's our final for now. Like if you get, if, if you get other bids, let us know and we'll decide if we want to match it or not. Right. Um, I was told by my second source who, uh, it works for an advertising agency who, uh, you know, I think technically he's a TV, con he's a consultant that works for that agency. And he was there at the, they were trying to slot ads with various shows and they told him don't put any with AW in 2025 because right now they're not part of the schedule. Okay. Right. Can that be reversed? Of course it can easily. I mean, it, 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 it it's, it's already, it, it may not be in pen, but it's already there in pencil. It's not, it's not that hard to put it right back because they haven't replaced the programming. So no issue. I mean, it's just, they, they'll just have less reruns of Sheldon, Big Bang Theory and Wonder Woman 84, whatever else they're going to put on um, or Modern Family. But uh, so that's that. Now, now, Elter was right when he said they should be fielding bidders. I mean, everyone's wrong. They should have been fielding bidders for months to to make this a bidding war. But yeah, that's the that if you are an AEW fan right now, you want there to be bidders and serious bidders, big bidders, bidders that, that really want you and are giving big money. And you better hope that Warner Bros. Discovery sort of panics. And they might, and they probably should a little bit. Not over AEW, but just because. They're taking lots of black eyes, like one after another after another. They they have very few W's, and they're at a point where they've got to decide: Are we just going to be, you know, a, a channel that has, you know, a lot of ex household exposure like USA, or are we going to be a premier cable network with that's a, a place for live sports um, right. and other live events? And and that they've got to make that decision now. With the NBA, it's not a dollar for dollar thing. Not paying for the NBA doesn't mean that $1.8 billion has been freed up for other things. The reason you pay for the NBA yeah, it is does not work that way. People got to understand that. Yeah. 60% of cable TV channels money comes from carriage fees. That's an amount that, that all of the platforms pay to carry them. Right now, it's approximately $3 per, per carrier, per household. Um, their Wall Street believes that if Warner Bros. Discovery loses the NBA in its entirety and doesn't replace it with something that's of an equivalent value, and there is nothing of an equivalent value uh, at this point, uh, and they're at and they have some risk of losing the NHL in, in another you know few years, and I guess people are saying they're targeting UFC, and then you know they've 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 signed some conferences, you know big you know certain certain football conferences and different sports. I mean, they, they're they're filling the slots. But Wall Street believes that the carriage fees will be reduced by a full third. Two, so that, down to like $2 a share, $2 per household or thereabouts. If they're correct, the losses in the carriage fees far exceeds, outweighs the $1.8 billion saved. So it becomes a question of whether Warner Bros. Discovery thinks that getting programming like AW, not just AW, but AW and other types of programming will be able to boost up those carriage fees enough to, to make it worthwhile. Or if they're just like, we are about to take a bath, so we're not spending any more money. And nobody knows that. And and I don't even think they know that. In I think right now David Zaslow is wondering if, if he's going to be forced to resign because they botched the... Um, the option thing on the NBA, they 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 apparently treated like they had an option on any match or offer, and the NBA is like, no, you didn't. You had you you had to match the. There's not different. Yeah, 
You and they and people people were writing like it's time to dissolve and shit. Like I think it was like Wall Street Journal. Yeah, or someone was writing like they should. This has I been an epic failure. Open. They should. Well, those I want to ask you though. Why should people care about this? That's the fucking. That's lem- like a lot of people go. Why do you care about the ratings or the? And I've and I've made my argument clear. Like because that's the metric that like the people because that's the metric everyone wants to point to is like well look at all this success and blah blah blah. Um, or they manipulate the this certain thing like MJF cut in the promo, right? He cut it in the la- in that promo with Will Ospreay. Like I care about Nielsen, and whether it's kayfabe or shoot, brother, it's what it's what the metrics they're using is like. Oh, they're gonna get a billion dollar TV deal, and it's like, yo, can we be realistic so that this thing has a shot? Like we're promising the fucking world here, and we don't, haven't even conquered a, a city yet, you know? And it's like I just want us to. Yeah, and I'm saying it, Rock and T. This is me when I started falling off the wagon, Team AEW. Like, you know, so why should people care about what AEW's TV deal is? I mean, in your mind, it, I, I guess it depends on what you really think Tony Khan is going to do. If you think that a rich person is going to spend money and self fund their vanity project, endlessly just out of passion and love, then maybe you shouldn't care. I will say this, that I have never known a rich person who likes to lose money on something that's called a business. If you call something a hobby, you don't mind it. Like some people, like I've known people, they have racehorses. Like I I don't expect to make any money, but I I have a racehorse and I get to go to, you know, I get to go to all these fabulous parties and all these events and and meet and see beautiful people. Uh, You know, I have people who have boats, you know, and, you know, there's lots of people who have things that they lose money on, but they just like to have it uh, as a hobby. But when a rich person has a business and it's losing, it's bad for their reputation and it does spill over into other aspects of the, uh, the rest of the family's life because the family businesses are sort of all intertwined with each other and... You know, I don't think that the rest of his family likes him looking a serious, you know, not uh, like a, a non-serious person. But if you think that he doesn't care, he's going to do this forever. Maybe you shouldn't care. But if if he's like every other wealthy person who runs a business that if it, if it doesn't make money after a amount of time, they stop, which the way he talks about media rights and, and they're going to get a great deal and this, that, and he talks about gates. Oh yeah, that's great. The gate was awesome. Especially when punk is here. Oh, I mean, right. He, he loves talking about money. So clearly he wants to make money. He wants to, he wants to brag. Of course. Yeah. That's what, that's what I meant to say before. Like they always bring this shit up. So it's like, okay, obviously that's what you want then. So when they aren't at the thing that they're gassing gaslighting everyone it's supposed to be which i always say let carney's carney like work everyone but don't fucking but then when we go well look this is objectively false don't cry well don't cry about it you know don't get mad don't send the bots don't fucking you know yeah and your your initial question was why why should they care so i don't know how what the age range is but most wrestling fans they they you know they consume old wrestling content as well well Every single territory went out of business because they couldn't compete. That the, they were easily bought out. WCW went out of business. ECW went out of business twice. NWA went out of business, you know, in in any sort of serious format, more than once. And right now, it's trying to reorganize again. Uh, Lucha Underground ran for four seasons. Gone. Wrestling Society X. Gone. I mean, yeah. yeah. Global Force Wrestling. Whatever you think about Jeff Jarrett, started and gone. Terminus, started by Jonathan Gresham and uh, what's his name, Brandon Scott. Dose, we talked a lot about this deal. Just um, you're going to throw your hands up and quit then if this doesn't go your way. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, but like for real, it sounds that's sort of how you put it, right? But it's like not if it doesn't go your way, but just then you you just don't want to be, I guess, like caught in the crosshairs because like you got to think that there's probably going to be a wave of people like fucking told you haters if they get even like a hundred million which you know that's still operating at a loss which is fine no one's saying business has got to make all the monies in the world but they're not trending in the right direction in any capacity 
So right. when it's so sorry, you go ahead and answer. I guess I was asking you a question. Well, let's go on the assumption that that that, that he's not going to make major budget cuts and things like that, which would actually really be very easy to do. Um, and probably nobody would notice any difference in the product because there's so much dead weight and dead expenditures down there and dead money. Um, I have always set the over under at any if they may if they get anything more than 120 million dollars a year, that's a win for them. So if that happens and it's and it's revealed. I will just take my L's. I, I won't run away from that. I may, I may leave in a few months, but I won't run away from that. <laughs> that, 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 that I'll, just take, I'll just take my L's. Everyone that bookmarked me and everyone that I bookmarked, I'll say, you were correct. I was wrong, you know, and, and, and move along and do whatever, you know, do, and just take them because, you know, I, I, you know it, it, I, I don't need to cope. I'm not in my feelings about this. Um, the, the, if they do... You know, if they get a deal that's forty million dollars a year, um, you know, and that's published, which I don't think it will, but if that comes out and people believe it, then I will dunk on people. If they get non-renewed by Warner Bros. Discovery and end up on, I don't know, you know, pick Lifetime. I, I don't know. Pick pick some, you know, <laughs> pick some silly, you know, or Honor Club or whatever. Honor Club becomes <laughs> AW Club. You know, then 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 I'm gonna dunk again, not because I'm I'm. Because people have driven me to be in this jerk. What I what I will give up on is if there's not a disclosed amount or it's a disclosed amount that's like eighty million dollars or hundred million dollars. There's no way they're making a profit, um, and and it's just the same argument over and over. And there's just no point yeah. in that. Um, now, if they get, let's just say they get a hundred million dollars, and they let. 60 contracts expire like the Keith Lee contract and all of a sudden there's like you know 30 million dollars is taken off and they slowly you know let go some of the redundant staff that isn't that good and they added Melissa Santos but they added Melissa Santos because they're gonna let I don't know Excalibur and the big show go um you know so actually it's a you know they pay her whatever 200 grand a year or whatever but now they're not paying you know, $1.8 million. So I save one, you know, if we start seeing things like, like Elton John song, they're not licensed, paying license. If we start seeing that you can, they can make a profit. They could have been profitable. They could have had so early on. Yeah. They could have been profitable by the end of year one and recoup their investment with, with, with just the way things were going. And then they just went, they, he went crazy. Yeah. It was Tony, bro. It was Tony. So somebody uh, in the chat says it's crazy that they would get 120 million when NXT is only getting 25. Um, I believe CW gave them, gave NXT 50. No, and that's the no. thing. Like, how much no. do you think the roster of NXT entire the entirety of NXT? What do you think the roster costs? And fifty million probably covers that. And they're beating Dynamite in the ratings. It's like, not fifty typically. million. Fifty million is what Meltzer reported NXT was getting oh, for years so from it was USA. A oh my god! Right. Here we'll give myself Dummy. a dummy. Yeah. The, the CW deal is it's. It, it, it's not like most deals. It's not exactly clear what it is on an annualized basis, but it, it, it's going to end at thirty-six million dollars per year. But it's a three-year contract, so it doesn't start at thirty-six million. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, will but will that cover the NXT costs? Probably, but but they probably put some of the costs under WWE for the performance center and and you know they 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 do put WWE talent on there as well. Some of those people there are on WWE main roster contracts. I mean, you know, Cedric and Ashante right now, Ridge, Pete Dunn is splitting time. So, you know, they 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 play some games themselves, but um uh, yeah, but uh, NXT apparently is now a net profit. Um, Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, just compare. So they're going to give AEW $120 million when NXT is getting, let's say, 25 or $36 million yeah. over three years right. or whatever. Um, more than that, obviously, because it's annually increased. And, like, look at the, the difference in the product, the way the show's booked, the way the ratings, like, Pete, like, the way it's built up to the main event, how Trick and they took Ethan Page an AEW guy and he's doing comparable ratings to their top guys in AEW, right? So that's, it, it just seems crazy to me to think anyone's going to fork over like here's 120 million when people are throwing 50 million, let's just use that number or 36 million and they're getting NXT, which is what's more valuable. I, I don't know. 
Yeah, no, the, the 100,000 viewers and the 0 0.04 difference in, in the demo or whatever it is, is, is not the differential between $80 million a year. Maybe it's the differential between, you know, 8 to $10 million a year. That's what I'm trying to get at right there. So, see, you, you're way smarter than me. You word that shit better.